Hi guys, Dragon Warrior here, and today I am going to be showing you a massive update to the Mandalorian uh, suit. So this is only part two. Now, sorry, this is part two out of three. The final uh, stage will be the final video of the suit. Now, the armor has been completely redone, but this time, you're probably thinking, Dragon Warrior, if the armor is really completely redone, what else is there to go? I still have to get the gun the holster, the gloves, and a few other tweaks, and most importantly, I have to redo the entire suit. I will explain that later. I will put the outfit on uh, later just to show you, but the armor, is not, the armor will look cool on me, but it won't sit that great just because we're making a brand new suit to fit this armor, and I'll explain why we're making a brand new suit later. Now, this is the chest plane, as you can see now, unfortunately, they it's not possible with foam to get the exact same sort of colour or the shininess, the chrome sort of shininess as the helmet. But this is the closest they can get. And you know what? It's fine. Nothing can be perfect. This looks... This is exactly the same, like, model as uh, his chest plate. It is perfect. It is incredible. I just want to say that, um... This... This is the best they could have done with it. It is absolutely awesome. The gauntlets, you can see how awful they looked last time, now how good they look this time. Now, this is on another level of awesome, as you can see. There is some light. Once I've got the new outfit, I'm going to stick this inside of the gauntlet so I can, like, sort of fit my finger through and press the switch. You can sort of see the whistling birds. This is how they look. You can, like, sort of turn it on so it's, like, ready to, you know, to shoot. It is so awesome. It is it's incredible. Um, I love that they, they added that. Um, that is just, it's just, it's just awesome. It is incredible. Um, but yeah, let me just turn that off. How do I turn that off? There we go. And then we've got this scotland here. And you can see they're just so good. Like, they're way better than they used to be. We've got these bits here. Obviously, when I put these on the suit, there's going to be another popper down there. So it will look flappy on the suit I've got now. But once the actual suit is done, we're going to put another popper on it. So it's, it's more secure. But this is just one of them. This is slightly shorter than his. But like I said, it's going to be my version of the suit. So it's cool. Shoulder pads look bigger and better. Now, this is the part where you, some of you guys may... Um, I don't know hate comments about but listen this is my suit it is basically for, it's going to be as as similar to dinjaro and as possible but i put a few tweaks like i said the, the the jumpsuit is supposed to be brown for his but i chose black the symbol on the armor is meant to be the mud horn but because i i, I the, the name dragon warrior basically there's a skin called the hybrid skin and it has the symbol in fortnite and I sort of thought, okay, hybrid is a dragon and he's a warrior or he's a ninja really, but I chose warrior. And this is, and yeah, I, I just love the hybrid skin and it's awesome. And this is the, the dragon warrior brood symbol. I put it on the armor because it's my armor. So yes, just don't kill me for that, please guys. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear the table and I'm going to show you something else new as well. And that, and that is everything which is brand new. And then I'm going to talk about the tweaks and stuff which is going to be happening with the suit. I'll explain about the suit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we got the boots. It's so basically these are some black wellies, and it's not they've customized and make them look like Mandalorian, uh, his boots. His boots are brown, but I made them black, and obviously there's some brown boots on them. As you can see, it looks awesome. Um, definitely perfect. Now, there's something else I'm going to add to them. So I don't know if, it, if I don't know if they're legal, but there's these... I, I have noticed that I really like the sound. When Mandalorian is walking, I've noticed it with Boba Fett and him himself. When they're walking, you sort of hear the clanking of metal. I'm gonna get some of those like like metal things to put on the boots. So when you walk, I, I can hear you can hear the clanking of metal and it will just sound super intimidating and super cool, just like the armors clanking together. Let me know what you think of that. Hopefully I can make it work. If I can't, that's just gonna be sad, but I should be able to. Um but as you can see, this is awesome as well. These boots just look awesome. These are fully complete. Now let's talk about the tweaks. So the belt and bandolier, we're, they're going to make it tighter, a lot tighter, because it was really flabby and it moved, it looked, in, it just felt really loose. The same with this bit when it was across the chest plate, it seemed really loose, we're going to fix that. We're going to put some gravity grenades on there, and they're going to add a holster to the side and make a blaster, a uh, heat blaster, which won't take, won't take them that long apparently. This is not accurate, like I said, this is 
be a blooming white stain in that. I did not pee myself, I promise, ladies and gentlemen. But um, this is not accurate. This makes it be way smaller. It makes you made out of foam. We're gonna make it a foam up the armor, and it meant to, you know, be a lot smaller, a lot like lower. Basically, the it, the chest plate is up to here, then the belt, and then it stops around like somewhere around here. And yeah, this is gonna be done. These Darth Vader gloves are awesome, but they're gonna make me proper Mandalorian black gloves with proper Mandalorian gloves. Um. I hope they make it up black. I hope they make it up black. I'll, I'll tell them about that. But we'll, we'll fit more to They'll be really like tight. So hopefully I can be able to like pull that switch on the back of the gauntlet. I really hope I can. And yes, outfit. This material is really, it, it, it makes a squeaking sound. It, it You sweat in it a lot. Um, It's really not a, a good material. It's not that comfortable. It doesn't fit me that well. If we go over here, you can sort of see the collar sticks. It, it, I don't know, this one of that material where it sticks up too much to collar. And it just, it's that really material. Basically, they're going to make it a, a, a better material, more breathable material. So I'm not going to sweat it, like, a lot in it. I'm not going to, you know, I, I took this outfit off before and there was just sweat all over me. But now when I make the new outfit, it might take them a while. When I make the new jumpsuit, um, it will be a breathable material. It will more comfortable. It will fit me more. I'll still be, look, look quite bulky, but it will fit me more and it will just feel like a lot better for me. And I want, I'm not going to take off loads of sweat so I can actually wear it, wash it really quickly without any problems and it will be fine and also there'll be some uh some adjustments to pop so the armor will sit better and it'll look more like his the cape's gonna be redone as well way more in a better material i think longer um it's not gonna stick up at the back like it did last time and it's just gonna fit my neck a lot better as well and uh yeah we still got the little uh hat thing to put inside the helmet so it fits better there is one thing we they we done to the helmet though one thing they done to the helmet which is quite important for me it, I, I, some, most people don't care about this but I I did care I'll be right back it's hard to notice yet but inside what basically what they did there was a massive issue with the helmet with black series they don't tint it out enough and basically if if light sh shone on the helmet if the sun shone on the helmet or bright light shined on the helmet you could see it, your face for it and I hated that. So basically they put some sort of like, they didn't like spray paint the inside of the helmet just in case if I get it wrong, it's over. I have to buy a new, buy a new Black Series helmet and these are not cheap. So they basically put some like little wrap, some sort of like, ta no, 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 what's it called? Some of that like blacking stuff inside of it, some sticky stuff. And basically it makes that if any light shines through it, you cannot see through it. When I'm wearing it, it looks darker, a bit like sunglasses. But you can't see the inside. If the line shines on there, as you can see, I can see my reflection way more than you can see. You, you not any light passes through it. There's no way you can possibly see my face. There is a sacrifice though. Some bubbles have formed, and you can sort of see some creasing, some bubbles in there, which it can't be fixed. Uh, apparently, it were meant to be fixed if you wore it more, but it seems like they got kind of worse. In some ways, I I have to I have to have a choice. Would I rather the visor look really clean and really straight? and people can see in or would I rather have a few bubbles a few creases in it but people not seeing and I choose people not seeing I don't want anyone to see my face so in my opinion in some ways if you see a bit of creasing it kind of looks like a bit of battle damaged a bit of wearing in the glass maybe it's not really glass plastic so it kind of looks more battle damaged I have got quite a lot of scrapes on this helmet as you can see um, a bit of battle damage, especially this. I love this one. This is a zip that came by and scratched the top of it. I, I actually like it. Having battle damage on your helmet looks kind of awesome. I'll show you the inside real quick. Here we go. It's hard to see the material, but you can sort of see the inside. It's really like blacked up. Anyway, I'm going to get the suit on now and I'll be right back. Don't expect it to look perfect. If you do think it looks cool though, wait until phase three, which is going to be part three. I cannot wait until this outfit is completely done. I will. Um, in some ways, um, I didn't have to do this video for you guys, but I wanted to do a video just to show you and tell you the plans for this outfit, all right? I wanted to just give you a progress update. Part three will be the final video, but I cannot wait. I am, I, I, I can't, I am, I cannot tell you how excited I am, really. One more thing quickly. I don't know if, if I had this in the last, uh, Mandalorian outfit video, but I've got a better balaclava, which is like a lot more breathable. And one more thing as well, with this helmet, I had to take the entire, seriously, I had to take this entire helmet apart 
just to take the visor down and do it. And there is quite a lot of like little scratches inside of the like the new material. You know, the new darker material and it, a few bubbles. It makes the helmet slightly more blurry. To be fair, this helmet was already quite blurry. Anyway, if, if you're going to wear a helmet, you're never going to have perfect vision for anything. I love the work. To give you a proper example, when, when uh, I think in The Mandalorian Season 2, I think Episode 7, wasn't it? Uh, Mayfield said, how could you, you, you guys see in, in these helmets? So, you see, you, you're not meant to have perfect vision. As long as I can see, it's fine. But anyway, for real, let's get the outfit on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the outfit looks like at the moment. It looks good, but it's going to look way better when it's done. As you can see, the whistling birds are out. You can't really see how bright they are, but it, it, we saw it earlier. It's looking good. The shoulder pad does move over a little bit, but I... Even with the new outfit, it's going to sit a bit better, but even with the new outfit, it's still going to move, but you're not going to get much better than that. It's really fogging up in here, actually. You turn around, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, it's, it's looking okay, we need to... It's, it's great, it's going to be fixed. If you think it looks good now, wait and see until it's actually done. It's, it's really good, the colour feels weird, bro. But, um... And, uh, yeah, um... It's awesome, it really is want to remove this part but um make sure to subscribe and like the video if you have enjoyed this and uh yeah wait <sighs> here we go yeah make sure to subscribe and like if you if you have enjoyed this video and uh yeah if you're if you're excited for part three make sure um to put the bell on and subscribe so you know when my um when i upload next but anyway goodbye <laughs>